quiz one, question three. In this circuit, we know that this V source supplies 5 watts of power, and this resistor absorbs 1.2 watts. The units of the values by resistors are given in ohms. Let's begin. We need to compute the current in this current source. That current is the same current in this voltage source. Let's compute then the current in this V source. The power is 5 watts. It's supplying because the source is supplying this current is flowing like so. Good. And this is IS. Now, 5 watts is 16 times IS. That means that IS is 5 watts divided by 16 volts, which is 0 0.31 amps. And that is the first answer to our problem. Hmm. Next one. Let's see. Let's see. We want um, to compute R hmm. and uh, compute this uh, voltage here and the power of the source. Let's do things one step at a time. There is a hint here the current Ix. What is that current? Well, we know the power in this resistor, 1.2 watts, and the resistance, 39 ohms. 1.2 watts equals to R I squared. I solve for Ix. I say that current has to be the square root of the power, 1.2, divided by the resistance, 39. So I'm using the formula power is Ri squared in a resistor. That current is 0 0.18 amps, this current here. And now, if you allow me to call this my reference node, and this is node 1, and node 2, yes, this is a binary node, I'm going to call that node 2. What is the voltage of 1 with respect to V reference? V1. That will be just this current, 0.18 amps, multiplied by the resistance of the branch, 75, in series with 39. In other words, V1 is merely the resistance, 75, plus 39, multiplied by the current Ix that we computed before. And that is... 20 volts. Fine, now we know this voltage. 20 volts with respect to the reference. We know what is um, the voltage across this resistor, right? 20 volts. If we know this current, this one here, we could divide 20 by the current and obtain the value of the resistor. What is that current? All that current is Is minus Ix both I currents that we know. And let's do that. Let's say this resistance value is this voltage, V1, V1, divided by the current in the resistor, which is Is minus Ix. All of those are known values. V1 is 20, Is is 0.3, Ix is 0.18. So we do compute that and get 146 ohms. That's good. That is the resistance, 146 ohms. Let's continue. Now that we've done that, we want to know what is um, the power in this source. Well, let's see. If we know the voltage V2, we multiply that times the current. And we get the power delivered by that source. Do we know that voltage? Hmm, I think we do. Let's see what is this voltage. We start here at the reference, which is this node of the source. And then we say, hmm, from here to here, we have a 120 volts. And then this voltage will be 20 IS, this will be 27 IS, and it will be 16 facing the other way. So we say the voltage here, the voltage here is going to be V1 
plus 20 times IS plus 27 times IS minus 16. In short, in short, we say the power at the current source is the current IS, which is known, multiplied by that voltage, and that voltage is going to be V1 plus this voltage in the resistors, right? 27 plus 20 multiplied by the current IS minus 16 volts. That is the power, 5.8 watts. Delivered, we have to say that. So this is 5.8 watts delivered. This is a source that is delivering power. That's good. That is good. What else? Now let's compute VAB, how much higher A is than B. Let's see. Mm, going from B to 1, we have to climb by a voltage that is 75 times IX. So, 75 times IX. We know IX, right? IX is 0.18 amps. Uh -huh. And then we keep climbing on our way to A. Yeah, because the current is flowing like that. The voltage drop in this resistor is like so with that polarity. And that is 20 times IS. So, we keep going up by 20 times IS. And we also know IS. It's 0 0.31 amps. Hmm. And then we keep moving towards A. We go down by 16 volts, negative 16. And that is no other than VAB. How much higher A is than B? That is 341 volts that I've already written down here. And with that, we have completed this exercise. Thank you very much.